In this video, I will show you how to install a 3D Touch bed leveling probe on your ANIT A8. Come and join me! Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I am here to help you being more successful with 3D printing. In a few other videos on this channel, I showed you already how to level your 3D printer's bed manually. Today we want to take it one step further and implement a probe-based auto bed leveling using the 3D touch sensor. This is video part number one, which shows the hardware installation and wiring. Part two will cover the firmware configuration and sensor calibration. Automatic bed leveling is an important step before starting to print on a 3D printer to get the information about bed tilt and little height differences between the edges and the center of the bed, also caused by heat and expansion. The printer firmware takes this information to calculate counter movements of the z-axis to compensate for these little inequalities to some extent. Simply put, we want auto bed leveling so our first layer sticks perfectly to the print bed to get the best results and less first layer problems like bending and warping. The 3D touch probe is made by a company called GeTech. I've put a link where you can get it in the description down below. There is a similar but more expensive probe on the market called the Beal Touch, which has the same functionality in wiring. What makes the 3D touch or Beal touch sensor different than, for example, a capacitive or inductive sensor is that it is a combination of a hall sensor and a server. The server pushes out a little pin, and if the pin hits the bed while the Z axis is being lowered, the hall sensor detects that and delivers a signal to the printer so it can calculate the distance. So let's have a look at the probe wiring first to understand what I like to do different in this video than maybe what you've seen on other channels. The 3D touch sensor has five wires. The brown and the black wires are ground cables, so we can put them together, which leaves us with four wires to connect to the printer. The ground, the red and the white cable will be connected to the Z axis connector on your ANIT board. The orange cable needs to be connected to the third wire of the display cable or to the seventh wire if you use an A6 or the display of an A6 on the ANET A8. This means we would have to cut that wire and pull it aside of the other nine cables of the flatbed cable so we can connect the probe's control signal to it. However, I like to avoid having to cut the original display cable and I also want a solution that's plug and play. So we will build an adapter that will allow us to install the sensor to the board very easily. Let's check out the list of parts that we will need to build the adapter. Two DuPont or servo extension cables. One three pin GST connector and pins. Three colored wires for the GST connector. One display extension cable. One male three pin header and one male two pin header. A piece of strip board with four rows. Assembling all this gives us this nice little adapter where we just have to plug in our cables. All the links to the parts needed and also the sketch for the adapter are in the description down below. So please check it out. Once having assembled our adapter, we can just plug in the adapter cable in between the display cable and the main board and connect our sensor extension cables to it. The next step is to mount the sensor to the print head which is done by using this holder part that I have printed out. The Thingiverse link is in the description down below. It is going to be mounted between the filament cooler fan and the extruder cooling block. Finally, fix the probe into the part using two screws, washers and nuts 
and we're done. PS, don't forget to remove the old set and stop sensor. So that's it for video part number one. Please watch part two on how to configure and flash the Marlin firmware to use the 3D touch sensor for auto bed leveling. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below so I can help you and we can also build a community on this channel. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Also hit the bell if you wanna get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching the show. Bye bye.